Welcome to our guide to a healthier credit score. We have compiled information and tips to help you reach your desired credit score. Financially speaking, having a healthy credit score does open a lot of doors. A good, a good credit score will help you get the best interest rates and will make you trustworthy to lenders. Here at Workforce Solutions Cameron, we hope you enjoyed this guide. And remember, we are here to help. Today we will start this guide with the graph you see here. Do you know where your credit score ranks? Our goal will be to go up in the graph to the point where our score is between good and excellent. If at this moment you find yourself on the red, don't feel hopeless. You want to take this process slowly and move up one color at a time. Your first goal should be to move on to the orange color, then to the yellow, and so on. Let's get on the same page. What is a credit score? A credit score is a three number figure generated by an algorithm using the information in your credit report and is usually updated each month. Lenders and other service providers use credit score scores to learn about your credit worthiness and how likely you are to repay a loan on time. Bottom line, your lender wants to know if they will be able to get their money back. There are perks to having a good credit score. The higher your credit score is, the better negotiating power you will have with lenders. This includes better opportunities for a low house mortgage. And let's be realistic, almost all of us dream of having our own home. Low interest rates on credit cards and loans. Having lower interest rates means we will have lower monthly payments. Better chances for a credit card and loan approval. Get approved for a higher limit. Easier approval for rental houses and apartments. Better car insurance rates. Get a cell phone on contract with no security payments. You will also be able to avoid security deposits on utilities. So now you know why you want a good credit score. Let's review now the things that can impact your credit score. Payment history, probably the most important factor. As we discussed earlier, lenders want to know how reliable will you be in paying your debts and your payment history will paint the picture for that. Credit utilization ratio, how much of your available credit are you using? It is recommended that you use no more than 30% of your total credit limit. In other words, don't max your credit cards. Credit history length. How long have you held your credit accounts? Credit mix. How diverse is your portfolio of credit accounts? For example, credit cards, personal loans, house mortgage, etc. New credit. The number of accounts you have recently opened and the number of hard inquiries made by lenders. So make sure you apply for credit when it is really needed. There are multiple credit coding models, which means that a good credit score can be different depending on the score model being used. Credit scores can range in between 300 and 850. A good credit score generally starts at 700, and a score of 800 or above is considered excellent. To improve your scores, start by checking your credit scores online. Your credit score report will also provide information on which factors are affecting your credit scores most. These risk factors will help you understand the changes you can make to start improving your scores. You will need to allow some time for any changes you make to be reported by your creditors, so be patient. Changes will not happen overnight. We have put together a series of tips that can help you reach your financial goals. Paying your bills on time is a very important factor. If you pay late or settle an account for less than what you originally agreed to pay can negatively affect your credit score. Get credit for making utility and cell phone payments on time. 
If you have been making utility and cell phone payments on time, there is a way for you to improve your credit scores by factoring in those payments through free applications available online. Remember, if you usually not pay your, your utility bills on time, consider this a good opportunity to build up a better financial habit. Pay off debt and keep balances low on credit cards and other revolving credit. Lenders typically like to see low ratios of 30% or less, and people with the best credit scores often have very low credit utilization ratios. A low credit utilization ratio tells lenders you haven't maxed out your credit cards, which implies that you probably know how to manage credit and money well. Apply for and open new credit accounts only as needed. Unnecessary credit can harm score in multiple ways, from creating too many hard inquiries on your credit report to tempting you to overspend and accumulate debt. Make sure to be responsible with the amount of credit you apply for. Don't close unused credit cards. Keeping unused credit cards open as long as they are not costing you money in an annual fee is a smart strategy. Because closing an account may increase your credit utilization ratio. And remember, we want to have no more than 30% utilization ratio. Don't apply for too much new credit. They will result in multiple inquiries. Too many hard inquiries can negatively impact your credit score. Though this effect will fade over time, hard inquiries remain on your credit report for two years. Be wise on where and when you apply for new credit. Lastly, dispute any inaccuracies on your credit reports. Incorrect information on your credit reports could drag your scores down. Verify that the accounts listed on your reports are correct. We have gathered a list of resources for additional information on credit score. Check them out. We thank you for your time. We hope this information provides you with a safe path toward your financial goals. We wish you the best of luck.